now playing Movie Reviews in 20 Qs. I want to be the very best podcaster there ever was. Detective Pikachu is a real test. This movie's a bit of a lost cause. 20 Qs. Gotta answer them all. <laughs> Jesus. I think your singing career is a bit of a lost cause as well. <laughs> if you notice, Macho and I were in perfect sync there. Like, that was spot on. That was pretty damn impressive. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast Movie Reviews and 20 Qs, the show where we review a movie by asking 20 weird and wonderful questions about it. This week, as you guys can see by the name of the podcast, we are doing Detective Pikachu. And to do a film like this that's been requested by Tara Maholik, thank you, and she even requested the guest, I had to bring along the two guests she requested. First of all was Machu. Machu, yeah. I choose you. I have a, I have a sinister <laughs> feeling that, uh, that it had something to do with Machu and Pikachu, <laughs> my, my brother from another video game mother. <laughs> and the other one representing Team Cockett is Mitch. How are you, Mitch? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. I am going to have to wear my detective hat today to figure out a couple of good scenes in this movie, though. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Coming out of the gate early. So yeah, Detective Pikachu, if you guys aren't planning on going to see it, Muchu's going to hit us with a plot of the film. So why don't you hit us with it, Muchu? <laughs> so um, back when my mum was, um, he gave birth to me and Pikachu, and she had to decide <laughs> I was Muchu and he was Pikachu. No. So, um, <laughs> that would have been better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would have right. paid to see that, <laughs> So uh, Ace Detective Harry Goodman goes mysteriously missing, prompting his 21-year-old son, Tim, to find out what happened. Aiden in the investigation is Harry's former Pokemon on partner, wisecracking, adorable, super sleuth, detective Machu, I mean Pikachu, um, finding that they are uniquely equipped to work together as Tim is the only human who can talk with Pikachu, they join forces to unravel the tangled mystery and oh what a tangled mystery it was. <laughs> Tangle upon tangle. So many, many layers of tangling. Wise cracking. I like that line in there. Yeah, that's interesting. That's really trying to sell the film. Yeah. Looking at the reviews for this film, 7 out of 10 on IMDb, 66% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 53% on Metacritic. But... Mitch... As a score out of 10,000 detective hats, what would you give this film? Oh, you'd have to wear a few. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give it 5,000 on the money. Ooh. That's the first uh, movie I've awarded three zeros to. <laughs> and it's for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Machu? Yeah, I'm I'm down there with Meta Cricket, cr- Meta Cricket, <laughs> Meta Meta Critic on this one. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go one one lower than Mitch there and go uh, four triple nine. Ooh, first Detective movie. Detective hats. First movie Ooh. you've given a triple nine to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I could throw some sixty nines, but this one didn't deserve it. Nah. <laughs> Fuck! Did we watch the same movie here, guys? Yeah. Come on, man! Like this was like way worse than what you guys are giving. <laughs> What about you, Sam? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just taking the piss. I actually enjoyed this quite a bit more than I expected. This, for me, is right up there in the 5,800 no, mark. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Shot pretty close to Endgame then, was it? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly the same. No, it's, it's in that range where it's like, if you're into this sort of shit, go see it. But like 6,000 for me is like, even if that person's not into it, 6,000 or higher, I'd be like, oh, you might get some enjoyment out of it. This isn't that. This isn't that five to six, which is like, oh, if you enjoy this sort of movie, I recommend it. But mm. yeah. That's about it. Seven out of ten, IMDb. That's quite generous. How many kids are on the internet these days, <laughs> eh? Holy shit. See, anywho, as I mentioned in the start, what we do is we review a movie by asking 20 weird and wonderful questions about it. We start with ten questions that we all answer. We then move into three questions each that we ask of the other two for this film. And we finish on, typically, a listener question, and we've got one for this week. And as usual, there's a spoiler alert for this film before we get into these questions. So the one that we always start on is the compliment sandwich, which is one thing good, one thing bad, and one thing good about this film. Okay, man. Why don't you lead us off? All right. So one thing good, I did play the Pokemon Game Boy series, and I didn't realize until before this that there was a game called Pikachu Detective, courtesy of Machu. Um, or but even I think Detective Pikachu. Detective <laughs> Pikachu. I mean, Machu. I mean. <laughs> but I think they did well to steer clear of the classic Pokemon game. You know, it was a little bit different. So mm. I, I got a little bit more out of it than typical. The one thing bad was the real stock standard plot. It was confusing, but it was stock standard. There wasn't anything that was coming left field. And I think the saving grace, which might be tied into a controversial debate a bit later on, was Ryan Reynolds. He was... <laughs> <laughs> I think he saved this movie for me. <laughs> Dem's, Dem's fighting words, those ones. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, well, those are pretty much my answers, apart from um, Ryan Reynolds being any good. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I like the fact that this movie stuck to the um, the video game. Like they didn't deviate too much. And I think for those people out there that love the video game or one million children out there that play the game, <laughs> they would have enjoyed that. And then, yeah, I, I had I had pretty much the same thing that went wrong for this movie was the, the plot. You know, just keep it simple. I mean, it, it, there was just too many things going on. Like a tangled mess. <laughs> like a tangled mess. And you were just like, oh. What? I can't even remember what happened at the start of the movie because by the end of the movie, I was, my mind was a tangled mess by the end of it with all the <laughs> different plot twists and all the th- different things that going on. So the thing that saved it for me was really the animation. I just liked mm, it. Um, yeah. It was some really impressive animation. All the Pokemon characters, you know, looked pretty legit and it, it was actually some really good CGI. I yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, same for me. Visually, it was there. So that's my first good thing. Bad thing, there was no substance to it. There was it was like supposed to pull on the heartstrings and that sort of stuff. It just didn't do that very well. And all, I mean, I'm going to chime in on you guys as well. At one point there, I was like, I've got no idea what the fuck is going on anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, and it's not because I'm dumb. It's just that I've stopped fucking caring. Yeah. When did like, you when did you lose it? Was it Fight Club? <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Fight Club? <laughs> it was like movie upon movie. It's like, <laughs> can you imagine the rise? Like, I want to do this. I want to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Wait! They just fucking chucked everything at it, and by that point, I was just like, "Ah, oh, fuck, whatever." Final good thing, I liked the guy, Justice Smith, that played Tim Goodman. I thought he was pretty good. Yeah, I think he did. He did well in a sea of average acting performances. He rose above it. <laughs> <laughs> he floated to the top, basically. And that moves us on to question number two. So what is it there, Mitch? Question number two is, how long would you hook up with this movie for? Oh, Machu, what do you reckon, mate? I was struggling just sitting in this movie, so <laughs> this would be just a pick. Oh, I, I don't think I'd, a pick. I don't think I'd slip the tongue, not even the tip. Not even the licky tongue? <laughs> not even the tip. <laughs> oh, classic. What about you, Sam? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't hook up with this movie at all. I would push it on to oh. Spanky or Kahu, guys that are still playing Pokemon Go. Those sorts of guys, I would feed it to them. What if it, what if he cornered you in a you know in a real awkward situation? What would you do? How did you? Get what if out you of had it? to take one for the team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know, there's end game there with um, with your mate. She's a, she's a banging nine ten. But yeah. then Pokemon Go, our Pokemon detective comes around. <laughs> detective Pikachu, yeah. Oh, <laughs> detective Pikachu comes around, and you've got to take one for the team here. So. Yeah, I just ball up into a ball and hope it disappears. You wouldn't yeah. even place a hand on the old knee. You wouldn't even put the <laughs> little, you know, get a couple of shots down the end of the bar, get some Dutch courage. <laughs> I'm a man of taste, bro. <laughs> I think you guys have been a bit harsh. I would do the one night stand. I'll do, oh, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do the honourable thing <laughs> and take one for the team. <laughs> Going all the way. Detective yeah. Pregnant Chew. <laughs> pregnant Chew, shit. Yeah. <laughs> worry. Wouldn't risk it, man. <laughs> okay, number three there, Machu. What philosophical debate arose in you during this film? How much of a movie can you miss and still the movie makes sense to you? Yeah, funny funny you bring that up. Funny I bring that up because we, me, Machu, Kahu, Machu, uh, Kahu's kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My kids, I think. No. <laughs> what about mate, Shaq? Yeah, we all, we all rolled in and watched this movie and uh, Dory and Mitch were supposed to come. And I just sort of left uh, Mitch's ticket on the door and then... I was just sitting there checking my phone the whole time, like, these guys have stood me up. I've brought a fucking <laughs> Mitch, a, Mitch a ticket. What a fucking arsehole. And then literally about half an hour into the movie, two guys come in. I'm like, oh, there they are. And this ties into my answer is how much of a movie can you take on whilst having amnesia? So the first 20 <laughs> minutes is my amnesia approach, which ties into the movie. <laughs> No, it was, it was just a major fuck up, <laughs> and traffic was bad. <laughs> what about you, Machu? No, I, I had how much money are these Pokemon cunts have these have they made? <laughs> Is it like a a gajillion billion <laughs> zillion? Like how like how could they could just turn up with this this mega movie with this amazing cast? That no one obviously gave a shit. Like they just they, they... And the CGI is next level. <laughs> it's got a huge budget. I wonder what the budget was, Sam. Tribute uh, on the spot. I think it was like about 150 mil. Oh, so 150 budget. mil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how, how can they afford it for such a rubbish movie? And they just throw in Deadpool to get some get some people going to the movie. <laughs> they didn't have they, yeah, because Deadpool appeals to yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that, but I imagine like. 
there was trading cards to this. There yeah, was the yeah. games. It made it to like Nintendo. We walked in the theater. They all gave us a, a packet of trading cards each. Yeah. Like, um, and then we had to have a game of you know Pokemon as we left. And <laughs> <laughs> that was actually my backup uh, philosophical debate: is whether I should be giving those Pokemon cards to a kid because <laughs> we we all walked out and Kahu's in there with his daughter and she's collected all of them. And I was like looking over them. And she's like, God damn it! I've got one that she doesn't have. <laughs> I've got to give it to her. Do I keep it and give it to Spanky and make his bloody year? Or do I actually give it to this little eight-year-old girl? Spanky who's probably me? would have appreciated it more. Oh, probably. Yeah, yeah. Those cards are probably in someone's bin right now. Anywho, that moves us on to question number four. And this question is a Patreon question. This comes courtesy of the amazing man that is Dave Baker. Dave pays five bucks a month to have his question in the top ten. If you'd like to have your question in the top ten, by all means, get in contact with us at patreon.com forward slash MRITQS. And you can have your question here too, and we will sing your praises, just like we do about Dave. Uh, you should go check out his own Patreon, forward slash your favourite. That's the American spelling of your favourite. He's got a ton of awesome stuff on there. Just go check it out. It's amazing. And what he would like to know is which character from this film would have an awesome social media presence and on what platform? Mr. Mime. I reckon he'd have some pretty <laughs> awesome selfies. <laughs> One thing he doesn't have is a forum to actually write some words. and <laughs> Use your words, Mr. Mine. <laughs> Use your words. He was actually the best. He was good, The man. best Pokemon yeah, yeah. in this whole thing, eh? He, yeah, he yeah. Made me I've chuckle. forgotten all about him, but yeah. I'm glad you remind me because he was actually the best Pokemon. I had Charizard's Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Charizard? Just going around torching people. Yeah, is that? yeah, yeah. It's just, he's on Snapchat torching people after, <laughs> after Gordon Ramsay gives up. We wanted this steak medium, Charizard. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I am going to go with Ditto, and I reckon she'd have an awesome Instagram. I follow quite a lot of cosplay models that dress up in like different cosplays. Of course you do. (laughs) Shit. I I didn't think before I started talking about. Oh, Oh, Stacey's never going to listen to this. When did Ditto turn into Mystique from X Men and just turn up looking like a hot chick with. Crazy beady eyes, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was so weird, here. man. <laughs> it was like, ooh. From behind, you wouldn't notice that. Yeah, no, you yeah. wouldn't know. <laughs> One minute he's a gummy bear, next thing he's this bloody hot chick. And that's another around. thing, like, Pokemon aren't supposed to be mean to humans, but that thing was fucking people up left, right, and centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must have, oh, mind must you, had a few shots of the R, eh? <laughs> <laughs> There was that stuff that that guy had invented to make. I can't even make sense of this fucking film. (laughs) (laughs) Every time you think about it, you're like, oh, yeah, that happened. The more I think about it, the more insane it starts getting. That moves us on to question number five. What is it there, Mitch? Right, question number five. What would the porn parody name be for this movie, Machu? Mewtwo Girls One Cup. (laughs) 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 It's the best I could come up with. I didn't want to take the piss out of my own name, so I went just you two. He just slapped a uh, Pokemon name at the start of an actual porn movie. <laughs> That's all right. Me, me you two could... girls, one cup. Jeez. <laughs> that went exactly oh, as man. I was expecting. I am going to go with Detective Penis Chew. Oh, <laughs> very nice. That's like your battle every day, just yeah. finding your Pretty own. Pretty much. <laughs> I call myself Giant Penis Chew. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we well, are a giant cock. So that, that does <laughs> make you, sense. Cock you. <laughs> oh, man. Mine was um, peek a boob. Yeah. Peek a boob. Because you can get a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Okay, and number six is also a Patreon question. This comes courtesy of the amazing woman that is Emily Higgins and the Tasteless Podcast. Podcast in which she compares two movies, one that she feels is unduly not recognized for its awesomeness, and another film that she thinks is overrated. Uh, usually we've got one question for this, but all you $5 patrons that are listening to this, you guys can change up your questions wherever you like. And she has, for this week, what would she like to know, Machu? Which character has probably gone the longest without showering? I'm going to go with that liquor tongue that's on the train. That Mitch doesn't know this, but he walks up to the... There's a bit at the start where he's just sitting on a train and liquor tongue walks up and just licks his face. And then he's just bobbing around and he goes, whose Pokemon is this? That's no one's Pokemon. That Pokemon's hanging out on that train just licking people left, right, and centre, bro. He's a That's old Miscuzi, eh, from Eurotrip, that fucking Pokemon. So it's, yeah, all, it's a home, uh, homeless Pokemon. I reckon it's a homeless Pokemon. He says, whose Pokemon is this? Not a single person wants to claim the liquor tongue that's going around molesting people. <laughs> What is it there? What was its purpose in the movie? Molesting people. <laughs> You're going to get your face licked off if you that ride was, a train line in the Pokemon universe. That was plot twist number one. Yeah. 
mine was Psyduck. This guy is, he's stressing balls all the time, man. He's like, fuck, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to blow, man. I'm going to blow. And he's, he's confused. He's, he must be sweating up a storm, man. He needs a shower. Yeah. Psyduck's awesome. I had Pikachu. Have you ever had a shower? Oh, have you ever had a bath with a toaster before? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still here, so no. <laughs> well, neither is Pikachu. He's never had a shower. <laughs> Funnily enough, Emily Higgins's answer was Pikachu. Oh. She said that little rat looks like it hasn't had a shower in weeks or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Especially he's like or the that little fattest, ball or something. He's yeah. like the fattest Pikachu of them all too. Like he's a useless, lazy Pikachu. Yeah, in yeah. the video game, his powers don't even work. Yeah. He even... <laughs> he's so he, he uses intelligence, and all he can say is Pika, Pika. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my wife. <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> you could just say that at the end of anything, right? Yeah, yeah that's the idea. Yeah, yeah. And speaking about my wife, here comes her favourite question. Question number seven. How would you incorporate Nicolas Cage into this movie? I think Nicolas Cage would be a great Mewtwo. Oh. He'd just be commanding oh. it. And he's, he's, he's still hiding behind that CGI. <laughs> that's a, oh, that's a good point. I had Nicolas Cage down on the docks wearing a trench coat selling the R. He's the definitely <laughs> not even the proper R either. He's just selling vapes pretty much, passing them off as R. Yeah, no, see, so. I, I imagine them something like that as well, just like hanging out in that Pokemon battle arena. You know what I mean? <laughs> but just someone's lackey. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not like the, the main bad guy, just someone just, <laughs> just on the side. Yeah, just henchman number five, you know. <laughs> yeah. just. So is he human in this though? But in your henchman? Well, is of... he a human in real life? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the question. Well, maybe he's the perfect Pokemon. <laughs> there you go. And that moves us on to question number eight, which is also a Patreon question. And this comes courtesy of our man, Julio, over at the Contrarians podcast. And he wants to know, what is our most controversial opinion about this film? Ryan Reynolds and Justice Smith's chemistry was off. Like, the whole film, there was no relationship there, and it distracted me. And I thought <laughs> that, you know, these, you know, how can you... <laughs> I want to steal someone's answer here. But <laughs> how can you not even recognise your own man's old man's voice? Say, like, <laughs> yes, that, that one was mine. God damn it! Yeah, that's that's a massive like. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, there, come on, man! You'd recognise your dad's voice whether it's in bloody Charizard's yeah. body or whatever it is, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, you would. How could you not recognise your own man? <laughs> So you're saying that whole aspect of the movie sucks? I think most yeah, people agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> He's like this brooding teenager and then you've got this wise cracking uncle and they don't they don't mix. You know, you've got emotional depth and then just this flat Deadpool that was like flat PG Deadpool that best yeah. wise cracking line was I feel it in my jellies. Do you yeah. feel it in your jellies? <laughs> yeah. That is a shit line. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're going to let Ryan Reynolds take this, let him go nuts with yeah. it. Right? Yeah. Like, that'll be pretty good. I want to hear some sexual innuendo that washes over kids but just hits home with the adults. Yeah, dead- <laughs> Pikachu meets Deadpool. That's what you actually want. <laughs> that would have been awesome. My controversial opinion, Ken Watson Arby, man, he needs to fire his agent. Or he needs to wake up when he shows up to sets. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to, man. He, sh- he should just be fired from acting. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> fired from acting, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I think the other thing, too, is there's been so many shitty video game movies that when you watch something like this, you're like, oh, that's right. Yeah, it's watchable. Oh, yeah. Well, mine, mine's been touched on. Um, much you mentioned that. <laughs> How did Tim not realise that Ryan Re- Reynolds wasn't his dad. I'm not going to get into it again, but what the hell? Yeah, what a moron. He's in his, you know, everything was there for him to know. He's in his dad's apartment. He's thinking about his dad. His dad's <laughs> voice comes out of nowhere. Still thinks it's a stranger. Stranger danger, <laughs> eh? <right? laughs> oh, man. And how did he get such a good sense of humour with no memory of anything? Yeah, wouldn't you forget that? <laughs> yeah, all these quick, wise, cracking lines, but mm. you can't actually remember anything. But he keeps a coffee addiction, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, didn't forget about that. <laughs> Okay, and then moves us on to question number nine. What is it there, Machu? What character needs to get laid? A couple of easy answers here, and I just mentioned him. Ken Watanabe's character, Lieutenant Yoshida. He's just some pent-up angry old man. <laughs> he needs to blow off some steam by blowing out his balls. There we go. <laughs> Maybe that'll give him get his exactly. <laughs> He can do a, a good a visual performance. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I've gone for Pikachu here. If you've, what? If you've gone uh, through amnesia and you cannot remember the joys... It's the first thing you need to do, right? Right. <laughs> what is Pikachu? Which are they? Have there been a female Pikachu? Is like Ash's Pikachu oh, yeah, a female Pikachu? Was. Yeah, they all the same sex. 
Well, this one was a dude. No, no, I think you always thought it was a girl because it's got that high pitch. Yeah, yeah, but pika, really, pika? yeah, but yeah. it's always been a boy. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Do Pokemon have sex? Oh shit! Yeah. yeah I mean, obviously on. they yeah, have sex, sex, but do you know, like, do they have sexes and genders? And is gender a construct? And did we presume Pikachu's gender <laughs> <laughs> for so many years? It's not about the gender. Good question. Yeah, interesting. What about you, Macho? Who do you reckon needs to get laid? Oh, it's got to be the Tim Goodman. Is that his name? The yep. Justice Smith. Yeah, it's got to be him. He can't. He can hardly talk to a girl. He's got one mate. He's got no Pokemon friends. He's just. He's moved to a new city. He needs to get some shnene. Yeah. He, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> he does have that one friend at the start. Do you remember that guy who's like tries to take him hunt out hunting a Pokemon? Oh yeah. You remember yeah, him? He's been in the first twenty minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ready for me to click on? Oh man. And finally, question number ten before we move into the personal questions. What top ten list would you guys have this movie on? Uh mine is the best worst Ryan Reynolds movies. The best <laughs> worst Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> top ten movies only five year olds can appreciate. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> what about you, Sam? I had this on the top 10 video game movies. And I'm going to actually oh, yeah, run you down. That's pretty good. I'm going to oh. run you down my top 10. Whoa. You ready? Hit me. 10, 9, 8, <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Detective Pikachu, 1, Mortal Kombat! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that oh, film. Oh, shit, yeah. It's so stupid, but so good. <laughs> that's a great top 10. And that moves us over to our personal questions. So, much you, why don't you start us off there, bud? I'm going to come out of the gate swinging. Like, <laughs> oh, you already have about 100 times, but yeah, sure. Ryan Reynolds, he voices over the character of Pikachu, my my darling Pikachu. Um, <laughs> Your twin. Yeah. <laughs> so weird when you see me in the eyes while so you So both of us are so fat and <laughs> squishy, but cute at the same time. Demand to be carried everywhere. <laughs> Electrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Except we can't use our powers. We just talk about how powerful we are with our powers. Addicted to coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Ryan Reynolds, he plays the voice, no Brooklyn accent, can't doesn't get along with his son. Shit lines like, I feel it in my jellies. Did he ruin the movie? What a build up to the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was as many plot twists as the movie. <laughs> well the movie had seven thousand, so yeah, it was pretty close yeah. to it. But Oh, hard to say. I can't imagine anyone have done better. Nah, I'm he gonna didn't leave it there. He saved it, if anything. Yeah. What about film noir Spider-Man? Oh, is Nicolas this Cage. This is a noir, you know, this is a dark, gritty detective type. Could have Nicolas Cage have solved? I think Nicolas Cage could have beaten that. Uh, he, he's the answer to everything, though. Yeah, he yeah. solves everything. <laughs> that's, that's always a five-star performance. He solved that rash I had around my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, As a voice, he did well. Coming in human form into the movie, that didn't go down so well for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else you got there, Machu? There was a lot of movie cliches in this film. We had the kid who's looking for his dad. We had the buddy system. We had the the news reporter that's a bit of a cliche in her own way. Did this movie win movie cliche bingo? Did they get all of them? I reckon it did. <laughs> I re- like It was funny because uh, when you said that, I was well, when, when I started reading and answering these questions, I was looking on the IMDb page and I was like, like, most films have two genres, mm. right? Like, just two genres. This one has fucking six. Fuck, there you go. It's action, adventure, comedy, family, mystery, sci-fi. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> way to swing for the fences here, guys. I, I dare anyone to go out there, have a look on IMDb, find another movie that has more than that many genres on it, and then send me an email at machutoro at hotmail.com. <laughs> Tell me all about it, and then tell me all about how much of a dick I am. Thank you, everyone. Good night. I think I think it did hit most of the cliche bingo. I would have been yelling bingo if I caught the first 20 minutes, because <laughs> who knows what happened then? There's actually a movie reviews in 20 Q's bingo that uh, one of our listeners have very nicely put together and what? made. Yeah, if uh, a certain number of things get said throughout the podcast, they sort of tick them off. So just for you, Nick, I'm going to throw it now. It was almost like someone took a shit and put it into the movie screen. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the last ones on his list. All right, so of all the ridiculous plot twists that happened in this film, which was the most ridiculous? That's like asking me what my favorite testicle is. <laughs> you know, it's like, how do you, how do you pick? There's so many. How do you pick? How do you pick? Mewtwo's evil. Wait, he's good. No, he's evil. Wait, <laughs> yeah. he's good. Yeah, that was up there. <laughs> or the really nice philanthropist, good guy, blah, 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 turns out to be a bad guy. Or the doctor turns out to be good, but she's bad, but she's good. 
and then Detective Pikachu turns out to be good, but the Shibazu is good. And I'm just going to keep talking until I go through all of them so that Mitch doesn't have any other things to say. Yeah. This is so hard for me because I'm confused as it is. And yeah. like the first 20 minutes really threw me off. And I'm like, fuck, man. It's so confusing walking into this movie. <laughs> Where are they? Are they in Zootopia? <laughs> yeah. Am I in the right movie? <laughs> I can't get over the the voice thing. Like that's yeah. a that's a plot twist within itself that you didn't you should have caught on with and you didn't get through it. So I'm sticking with that one. Like he hasn't seen his dad since he was no, nah, you'd still remember, eh? His mum's died, and so he moves out to the countryside, and then he never wants to speak to his dad ever again, right? Like, and his that- dad rings for him and stuff like that. Like I'm trying to try and justify it. No, no, it I'm, sure, I'm sure you'd have some fond sense. memories, and the fond memories would be tied to your dad's voice. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way you could forget it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the end of my my questions. What, what about the son turning out to be uh, not actually be a bad guy? There's another stupid dumb one. The fake out bad guy, you know? When did that happen? I must have missed that one. The fake out bad guy. Yeah, yeah. The, like you all thought the sun was like the evil oh, dude, like yeah, the decoy, yeah, yeah. The the decoy. nice sun. Yeah, yeah. The final one though for me was the when they made the giant Pokemon's. You know they they, oh. got, they yeah when they escape out of the oh, yeah. facility and they go running out this thing and they made these giant turtle Pokemon's that literally come out of the ground and destroy everything. Why would you make that? Oh, this is yeah. the part where they destroy like... your entire facility within a day. <laughs> yeah. What is your, what is your, how moronic are you? What was the advantage of creating those things? Nothing! Well, yeah. Because no, sometimes they, nah, there's nothing. You, you, <laughs> no, can't, you can't, can't defend it. <laughs> like they want to make Pokemon bigger. Why? What, what's the point? I'm having a mental breakdown. For why what's going exactly? On? Where am I? What, what about how he tries to make everyone Pokemon? What kind of, that, that was his thing. You're telling me you haven't tried to make everyone Pokemon? I try to make everyone to do Pokemon. Everyone's a Pokemon. I think I'd be like, Actually, this is not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play that. Can we do this for just a little bit? Oh, that's actually all right. Yeah, I can fly around shit, or yeah, I can shoot fire out of my tail, or blow water out of my pipe. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, Back to the porno parody. Yes. And that moves us on to my question. So in the film, as we've discussed, Pikachu starts talking human, and you know he can understand him. What I want to know from you guys is, imagine what would happen tomorrow if we wake up and all the animals around the world could talk. You know, almost like a Dr. Doolittle situation. What do you think an animal, any animal, would come up to you and immediately say? Yeah, I'm thinking of um, Rocco, my fake dog here. Um, (laughs) He would just be like, uh, peanut butter isn't my favorite, man. Like, come on. (laughs) Change it up. I'm I'm more of a jam guy. I see you eating steak over there, feeding me these shitty dog biscuits. (laughs) I think I've worked that out. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for Muchy to click. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I know, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whoosh. I had uh, my uh, fake uh, cat, Ralph, <laughs> would probably come up to me and say, hey, man, why'd you cut my balls off? <laughs> <laughs> I love how, like, you know, Chili is about it, though. You know, hey, man, yeah, yeah. why'd you cut him off? <laughs> why'd you cut my balls off? I was like, why'd you cut him <laughs> I'd be really angry if I wasn't so pass, pass, pacified by the lack of balls. That's true. I would be aggro, yeah. <laughs> so where are they, man? I, I need them. I had a fucking hell of a laugh one time over in London. You know when they found out that horse meat was in like oh, yeah. you know, all the Tesco products and all that sort of shit, <laughs> Iceland product, and then they were in the like paddies at Burger King. I, I was walking to the tube station, and I walked past this dude, and he had a horse mask on. He was like, Sorry, excuse me. Have you seen my brother and sister? They went in there about a week ago and I haven't seen this. <laughs> oh, like, oh, man. My that's God, awesome. You are the man, bro. You were awesome. Yeah, like a little wanted picture put up. <laughs> what a bored dude, though. <laughs> Legend, but. Yeah. Okay, guys. Which Pokemon do you guys reckon is probably the kinkiest? Ditto. Easily ditto. Yeah. He could be able to play both ways. <laughs> Top or bottom. Please both himself. Ways. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the um, the Pokemon's version of Mystique. It was, um, <laughs> she can do whatever he wants or she wants or it wants. Jesus. You don't have yeah. a thing for Mystique, do you? <laughs> I think he does. Blue lizard lady. Oh, yeah. It was like that time I came around your house and you were painting your wife blue, bro. This <laughs> yeah. all makes sense now. Yeah, I just couldn't find any scales to put on it. That was the thing. You need, need some grip, hey? Yeah. I wanted to answer one question like this, and it's ditto. No. (laughs) (laughs) No, no. Um, I thought, I don't think she was in this movie, but Jinx. 
Do you remember oh, yeah. Jinx? Jinx was that one. Well, the only Pokemon that I can remember that had like a full boob tube thing going on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Like these these massive lips, and I'm like, oh, you know, seems like the um, the designers were going with something when they were drawing this guy. Someone this snuck girl. one through away. Eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so definite, definitely uh, Jinx. Cool. And my final question is, what would your guys' Pokemon name be? I don't think I have to change anything. I think Michipu just works. <laughs> <laughs> Michipu. <I'd>, yeah. <laughs> and I would have like some mad, like, you know, diarrhea move or something. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew. I think it's just Machu, eh? Machu the Pikachu. I think people already think I'm a Pokemon when I talk to when I first introduce them. Machu, always, Machu. <laughs> Pikachu. What's the... What's the the one thing I didn't think of here is, you know how you, like, evolve? What does Machu turn into? Raka Machu. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what Pikachu turns into? Oh, yeah. Pikachu. I just get an extra P at the end, so I turn into Mich- Michi Poop. <laughs> Michi Poop. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll just be one Pokemon that can't evolve. I'm going to... Shout out to my man Snorlax. I'd be Sam Lax. <laughs> Sam Lax. <laughs> Sam Lax. Nice, nice. Move KFC coma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I bet you'd have like some sick zinger. Like, yeah, yeah, zinger. That'd be pretty. <laughs> that'd be pretty sweet. That'd be it. <laughs> and thanks to our sponsors, KFC. Yeah. No. <laughs> Getting on the R every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just for giggles, eh? Cool. And that moves us over to Mitch's questions. Oh. Sweet. Uh, well, my question has nothing to do with my attendance in the movie, but if you had to summarize the first 20 minutes in one word, what would it be? Unmissable. <laughs> <laughs> really? Don't you mean missable? Yeah. <laughs> that good. Yeah. It was well, the only good part, to be honest, the yeah, first yeah. 20 minutes. What about you, Sam? Exposition. Exposition. Fuck, this is just throwing me all over the place. I have no <laughs> I'm way more confused. A lot of this film just was exposition, and a lot of the start of the film was. Like, hey, here's this guy. Hey, he hates his dad. Hey, he doesn't want to catch Pokemon anymore. Hey, he lives with his grandma. Hey. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> exposition. I like exposition. That. What was he even there for? He's just going to go see, get his dad's stuff. And then he got oh, yeah, his dad died, so he was cruising into... What? Uh... His dad died? <laughs> yeah, th- what? Yeah, that no, was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, too good. I feel like this is one of the those movies where I'll never make a point to watch the first 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> leave, it, leave it as a yeah. mystery. <laughs> it could be 20 minutes of, like, Saving Private Ryan. Or like yeah, a yeah. List or something. You'll never know. You'll never know how amazing it is. Uh, uh, oh, man. Maybe that's the difference uh, between your 4,999 yeah, and my 5,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the one point that I didn't see. There we go. Right, moving on, on to my next question. What Pokemon is this movie? <laughs> oh, this is easy for me. Back in the day when you got your Pokemon, the very first game, you got to pick out of uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur, or uh, Squirtle. Yeah. And everyone went with Charmander and yeah, fucking badass. Squirtle. Yeah. Those two were the bomb. No one picked Bulbasaur, and that's what this film is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, shit. It's a Bulbasaur. It's like, it's okay. You know, it's not bad. Anyone that picks it, you sort of look at it and go, nerd. You yeah, know, like, ooh, I like plants. Oh, I'm a Chuck tree hugger. Leaves at me. Yeah. Ooh, oh, no. Vine whip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vine whip, oh, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it sounds all right. Uh, <laughs> how many hit points do you get for a vine whip? Let's just uh, backtrack on how nerdy and uh, into vines I am. But yeah, yeah vine whip. I had um, Meowth, the um, the cat from Team Rocket. Oh, I do, yeah. The one that talks. Yeah, he was cool. can stand up on two legs. He know, was one, cool. The, yeah, <laughs> he was. But, the, you know, he just made no sense. Like, why is this one Pokemon, why can he talk? And why yeah. can no other Pokemon talk? It's kind of like this movie. It's, it's, there's too much shit in this movie that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. What is this one Pokemon doing, walking around, talking? And oh, that's exactly what Detective Pikachu does for the whole film. <laughs> Actually, if you watch episode 342, they explain why... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the one where he uh, tries to impress the females? By talking in the English language. <laughs> Not that I looked it up today. No. <laughs> you nerd. You nerd. Why the fuck can he talk? And moving on to my last question. What would be the perfect task your Pokemon could do for you and what would it be? Yeah, I'd grab a Squirtle and look. What? <laughs> yeah. You'd grab Sorry, a continue. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, man. Like, I love taking long showers, but fuck, water's, water's not free. Oh. So Squirtle can make some water. It's raining right now, eh? <laughs> yeah, true. 
He's actually managed to get a squirtle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why have I not picked fucking Pikachu? Could actually power the entire house. Yeah. <laughs> what a moron! Oh no, what's his what's his evolve form? Raichu. Yeah, there we go. I'll get I'll get Raichu. Yeah. Oh no no no! How? Wait wait wait! It was you see in the movie Mewtwo can undo mistakes. Mewtwo, <laughs> he could undo every mistake I've made in my entire life. <laughs> what mistakes does he undo? He remember he still he, made the mistake. He yeah, just he, reverses what you've what's happened. That's but what I'm saying. You still make the mistake, but he can reverse all of that shit. So mm. why didn't he just reverse it again? Could he not do that? Yeah, like take it all the way back to oh, I don't know. See, this is the thing. Oh, like oh. he was he was way too <laughs> overpowered oh, 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 that he still gets caught twice. That was another plot twist that I yeah, thought was man. fucking yeah. stupid. I'm the, the most powerful supreme arch. Electricity. <laughs> oh, no. oh, shit, oh, you no, got I'm, me. They've got me. I can't down. get away from electricity. <laughs> even what when, the hell? Even when he's bloody fighting the dude when he's inside of his body sort of thing. Pikachu does, like, tackle or something, or volt tackle or whatever. And then that's it. Mewtwo goes down like a sack of shit. <laughs> what is going on? As we see, he, like, turns every human into a Pokemon, and then he just undoes it. It's just like, I will undo this and return Earth back to normal. What the fuck? <laughs> what is How can going you be on? that magic. powerful? <laughs> magic. Jesus. Because it's magic. I had a rather simple task uh, for my uh, Pokemon, which I've nicknamed Livermon. <laughs> and <I> was, <laughs> it's going to be my liver every time I get on the piss. <laughs> I can just drink a drink, and he takes away the pain. So he takes away the I, hangover. Yeah, yeah, because it's brilliant. Monday, and I've got the, the, the third day hangover going on. And, oh, uh, I've got to love those ones, eh? <laughs> oh, poor Machimon. <laughs> poor Machimon. <laughs> Uh, well, that wraps up my questions anyway. Excellent. And that takes us down to the final question, which is a listener question that we threw out there to you guys to answer for us. Got some great answers on Twitter that we are going to go through soon after we answer it ourselves. What video game would you like to see turned into a movie? Super Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. That was... I, I'll remind you if you don't remember. Like it, <laughs> yeah. I, look, you, you're looking at me with these uh, puzzled see, eyes. I played a lot of games. but uh... <laughs> Super Smash was like the free-for-all... Nintendo 64 game where you've got all the Super Mario Brothers, you've got Yoshi, you've got Lynx, you've got oh, yeah. Samus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was like Samus. a combined game yeah. and it was the, the ultimate Nintendo 64 and it, all it is is just a, a punch on the whole game. Yeah. And that would probably make more sense than this movie if they're fighting <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Aren't they just trying to bash them off the edge? Of yeah, a yeah. Sort so of, you've got like three lives or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, this is one of the first games I'd imagine that had like multiple players, but it was a free-for-all and it, was, it got pretty nuts and I reckon it'd be a pretty sweet movie. Well, I had Leisure Suit Larry. Yes, my man. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking, looking at you with some puzzled eyes. Here, mate. <laughs> so the, basically the game follows Larry Laffer, a balding, double entendre speaking, leisure suit wearing man in his 40s. Uh, and he basically just goes around uh, attempting to, usually unsuccessfully, to seduce attractive women. Oh. <laughs> They've made that movie, bro. It's called James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have the VR version of this game? Yeah. Yeah. The VR version is probably going to come out first. <laughs> Do you actually play that game? Yeah, I clocked it. it. PC. <laughs> yeah. I clocked it when I was 10 years old. <laughs> That is a worry. <laughs> yeah, it, it explains so much. I would have been a 10 or 11 year old. And I just remember at the start of the game, they ask you questions that like only an adult will know. Like, yeah. what's on the cover of the Rolling Stones Sticky Fingers album? You're a 40 year old deviant stuck in a 10 year old's body. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but did your son recognize your voice? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I am your son. <laughs> what about you, Sam? Uh, easy answer Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. I feel, yeah. It's it's GTA. I mean, it's there's so many different versions of the game, and so many different versions of the game also riff on a lot of films. But I reckon the most recent one, Grand Theft Auto Five, where you got these two, oh, they're all three of them are just crazy protagonist characters. Mm. I reckon they'd lend themselves to an awesome film. The problem is though, it's uh, I don't know. The problem is video game movies typically suck. Yeah, and I, it's hard to translate them into an awesome film. Or the ones that are really cinematic are the ones that you know. We've already played it. You've already played the game. There's yeah, already, exactly. Uh, Did they do yeah. it with the Jesse Pinkman version? Did you see that one? The Need for Speed. Yeah, Need yeah, for Speed. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> oh, that was yeah, shit. That's right. yeah, 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 yeah. They get in there. They get in there. The good thing with GTA, though, is that like you could do side missions and not actually follow the main plot. Yes. And how, how, do you, how do you reflect that in a movie, right? You can't actually... <laughs> You know, without following an actual plot. <laughs> well, did this movie follow a plot? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's Grand Theft Auto. It'd be a gritty. I it'd can be definitely a, see it. A gritty 
funny crime drama, almost like Baby Driver or one of those sorts of films. Yeah, like someone said- could rename Baby Driver as Grand Theft Auto. Sure, and like, and yes, pass. Like, yeah, yeah. And now it's time for us to judge you guys. As I said, we threw it out there to you guys to give us your answers, and we're just going to finally whip through them all now. And at the end, something new we're going to introduce is who gave the best answer. We're all going to vote on who we reckon gave the best answer and go of that. So we can start off with Gillian Ashton. She said the female Russian sniper from Call of Duty, but make it about Lyudmila Mihalikova per Vizhelenchko, aka Lady Death. Okay, who fucking knows how to speak Russian, not me? <laughs> Credited with 309 confirmed kills in the Second World War. Good one out of the gate. Oh, cool, nice one. Nice there was one. a bit, bit in the middle there that didn't make sense, but that bit at the end was yeah, at home. Eat a dick. Uh, <laughs> good old, it's translated from Russian. <laughs> Moves us over to Daniel from the IMDb Junior Podcast. Golden Eye 64. Oh, yes. That storyline looks perfect for some sort of spy action film. I'm shocked that no one made it into one. Winky face. Gloss's movies said he'd watch the Slappers Only version of that movie. Have you guys ever played that game on Slappers Only? Slappers Only. You got no guns, you can only slap oh, each yeah, other. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, I haven't. That's so good. <laughs> You're forgiven another type of slapper there, right. <laughs> Slappers Only. How do they know about my Saturday nights? <laughs> yeah. Ah, Tara Mahalik, who we, uh, all three of us are hating for making us go see this film at the moment a little bit, maybe? No. Her kid says Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Redemption 2, but it has to be directed by Clint Eastwood 10 years ago. Ooh. Good. That's um, top of my list at the yeah, moment, yeah, I reckon. I yeah. thinking the same thing, but I'm going to struck it off for uh, making me go to the movies. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you could have won, Tara. You could have won. Emily Higgins, who we mentioned from the Tasteless podcast, Uncharted. Nathan Drake and or Chloe and Nadine. I would also love Another Until Dawn, which is basically already a movie. Nice ones. Good picks. Colby Max did Battletoads. Battletoads. Battletoads was a classic. <laughs> Shake and Not Nerd. I think a lot of Tom Clancy's games would work for movies. Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon, The Division. Also wouldn't mind seeing more of the Warcraft series. They failed with that Warcraft movie, hey? Yeah. That was a bit of a flop. I forgot about that. It was okay. Mm. It was like most, like you, but forgettable. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Ollie at Out of Our Elements, great film review website you guys should go check out. I'll put a link in the show notes. Said he would do disgusting things for a Borderlands film. Well, that's a good point. That's good there, Ollie. Real Shark said Metal Gear. The Cinema Guy said, I want to see Streets of Rage 3, complete with a boxing kangaroo. Yes, hey, mate, you're <laughs> top of my book right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to watch this, said Legend of Zelda. So did Julio from The Contrarians. He also wants a Zelda movie. The Superiority Complex said Bioshock. Online Warriors podcast said Super Hype for an Uncharted. If that ever gets made, Horizon Zero Dawn would also be pretty interesting to explore. Mackenzie Lambert, Darkest Dungeon, a Lovecraftian dungeon crawler with an amazing roster of characters, freakish monsters, and a distinct art style. I even made a faux review for a Darkest Dungeon movie for my April Fool's episode. Good work, Mackenzie. Nice. The movie marathon in this podcast said Knights of the Old Republic. How yes, we would. I would love to see a Star Wars film, which has never seen Star Wars. So, <laughs> moving on, a face man your mother could love: Mars Warlogs, Watchdogs, The Mark of Cry, Duck Hunter, Hogan's Alley, Buji Nagnai, The Forsaken City, <laughs> Velvet Assassin, The Saboteur, Legacy of Cain, Red Dead, or Star Fox. And then Tom loves you three thousand said Sid Meier's Civilization. Finally, a Kush from uh, at work sounds familiar. Yeah, he's he's yeah. a bit of a dick that yeah. listens to our podcast quite a bit. <laughs> said Tekken, and then our final answer comes from Nick, aka Autistic Nick, Farmville. <laughs> <laughs> nice one to finish up on. Great one to finish on. What do you guys reckon? I'm torn between two. I think Zelda is a great suggestion, and a couple of people said that. So it's between Zelda and Red Dead for me. The Clint Eastwood part actually was the kicker for the Red Dead yes. Redemption. I thought that was a great combo. So, But it was yeah. Tara's daughter. Tara's daughter was the one that gave us the answer. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll let it slide for Tara's yeah, yeah. daughter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think Zelda as a movie would be pretty cool because oh, you be. do have a massive following with Zelda. So, And they could make it quite cool. Like it's, a, mm. it's an actual adventure. So... The the visuals on that I think would be pretty sweet. Yeah, that'd be sick. What do you reckon? I, I had Zelda and Tekken, and I and I just struck the line through uh, Red Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, Too I many plot like, holes. Red Dead, that's that's <laughs> awesome. Wait, who 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 brought it? No, <laughs> Tekken because when I was younger, I, I drew on a piece of paper the button so I could practice oh, playing Tekken while I was at school. Nerd. <laughs> no, who was your Tekken character? How oh, did you pass King, class? King, King, yes. King. Yeah. 
10 strings and all that sort of crap. That yeah. was Eddie. He was the dancing. Yeah, Eddie was really <laughs> it was so annoying to play against, man. Yeah, Eddie was, yeah, the, was the guy that the no one knows yeah. how to play, but everyone's good at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Press every button. Oh, no. I'll be practicing at school on a piece of paper for ages, and I'm losing this guy that's just put two bucks in the machine. <laughs> the old button masher. I'm going to go with Tara Maholic's daughter. I reckon she, she picked it. Red Dead Redemption would be sick. I mean, nice. especially if Clint Eastwood, if he's got one more good film in him, yeah. And that takes us down to the end of the podcast. Thank you to these two guys for joining us on this adventure through Detective Pikachu. Recommend this to people to watch? You guys reckon? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not get started again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, nah, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. And like much you said, I think they did a really good job with CGI and that, that mm. kept us entertained. Yeah. yeah. If you're taking kids to see a movie, this is probably a good one. Spoiler alert for an upcoming Aladdin episode, but this is probably a better movie to go see. Oh, no, there you go. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. If you've got a couple of hours to kill, you might have to give this month a miss at the movies. <laughs> I like that, baiting the next episode. Very yeah. Good. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the tease for the upcoming episode. We are doing Aladdin. After that is episodes on Star Trek. We've got another episode with the Countdown Boys. We're going to do Basic Instinct. Should be a bit of fun. But, uh, yeah, thanks again to these guys for joining me. Got to hand it to you, Mitch. After your missus came on last week, you've you've really stepped up your game and you're almost about as half as good as there is. <laughs> <laughs> Missing. T- I think I've just said a lot less than usual. But maybe that's that's the key. <laughs> Leave them wanting more, Mitch. Yeah. Just that's like my wife. Always my philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the same way playing there. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Super thanks to the patrons that support our show and help pay for these movie tickets so that we can go and watch these movies. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if you'd like to get in contact with us, you can find us on uh, Twitter at Movie Reviews In. You can find us on Facebook at Movie Reviews and 20Qs. You can send us an email at mritqs at gmail.com. And yeah, that's thanks for me. JJ. Nice one. Signing off as uh, Sam's favourite Australian, by the way. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> See you guys. Blasphemy. Last words.